Look at students at any college campus and you'll find them using smartphones, computers, and iPods all the time. That got Professor Jeff Lowenthal thinking. If students are already immersed in those technologies, why not converge it with their classroom work? Come on into my office, I'll show you a little bit about what I've done here. With his own money, Lowenthal bought the equipment to create podcast segments of his classroom lectures right in his office. He then quickly learned how to write, record, edit, and upload additional segments to YouTube for his entrepreneurship and operational management and supply chain classes, so students would have easy access to the material. Some segments use a music video style to convey information. Others are clips from lectures enhanced with additional information that students like Kevin Young can download onto their smartphones or computers. And if we miss something in class, we're able to pick it right back up on YouTube. Young says the videos make it easier to study and take some of the stress out of class lectures. The other classes you just try to sit there and learn and you know you try to take notes and it gets a little it's a little difficult just taking notes and trying to listen to the professor so if you miss something you just get on your cell phone like in between class or something or when you go home and just look up the previous lesson since he first began making podcasts and youtube videos for his classes two years ago lowenthal says he's seen students grades improve significantly what I'm finding is, is that there's about a 26, 27 and a half percent increase of grades as retention. So because the students, instead of just writing notes down or highlighting in their book, I'm finding that they're actually able to go back and actually listen to re-listen to certain components of components of lectures or, and content, and they're doing better. Lowenthal says just about any teacher at any grade level could do the same thing. He admits creating the videos takes time, but he adds they can be used over and over again with just minor adjustments as course material changes. And he says it doesn't take top of the line equipment to get the job done. He started out with a laptop, inexpensive editing software, and an old digital video recorder. Then over time, upgraded his equipment. In Tahlequah, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.